Hi. So I've had a few questions on my page asking me about how I approach playing behind the beat. Um, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is, is demonstrate the difference between playing on the beat and pushing it back to play behind the beat. Um, I'm just going to jam around on A minor to G. Um, and first of all, I'm going to play it straight and then I'm going to play behind the beat and you should hear a subtle difference. I'm just going to play a little groove here and here we go. This is on, this is on the beat. Now behind the beat. On. Behind. On. Behind again. So, I don't know if you could hear that. It's, uh, for me, it's quite a noticeable thing. It's playing something that's quite urgent. One, two, three, four. A straight, off. There obviously are different degrees of how far you can pull it back when you're doing this. Um, and how I like to think about it is, it's almost like, laying in a hammock you know when you lay in a hammock and it's really uncomfortable until you find just the right spot where it's really really relaxing um that's kind of how i think about it i i try and see how much i can play with it i can i can pull back i'll, I'll try i'll show you again what i mean one It almost feels a bit uneasy sometimes, but when you lock into it and you play consistently behind the beat, rather than moving in and out, it's such a good feeling once once that locks in, you know, and it, it really helps to kind of create a different type of groove, a different feeling. Um, and it doesn't work when everyone in the band is doing it. There needs to be something. If everyone's if everyone's playing behind the beat, then it's just the beat. You know, everything's on the beat. It it needs to be uh, certain elements. Maybe the bass player and the guitar player or the keyboard player are, are laying back, but the drums are solid. Um, and that's you know that's how I think of it. It's, it's like a comfy chair. You know, you sit back and relax on it. Um, and, you know, that's me playing straight eights. But if I was to do like a rhythm like Now I'm going to play it with the beat again. Here we go. Yeah, once you get it right, it, it feels really good. Um, so what I would suggest is you just get a click track or a beat like this. This is a very straight beat and and kind of play consistently. Pick something simple. I'm just playing A minor to G there, for example. 
just pick something and then see how far you can lay back. Um, great sort of examples of uh, recordings of this kind of thing. If you were li to listen to uh, Sissy Strut by The Meters, that's... It's almost like they're trying to play late. You know, it, it, it just gives a really relaxed feeling. Um, another great example of this is a song, and it's really laid back, is a song called uh, Left and Right by D'Angelo. The, the guitar part, I can't, can't remember what key it's in, but it is so laid back, it's almost, it's almost out of time. It's a really exaggerated version of it, but because it's consistent, it becomes almost metronomic, almost trance-like when you're doing it. It's a really good feeling, and uh, I love doing it. It's, it's like a little game you play between the drums and bass or the other instruments in the band. It's, it's, a, really, uh, it's a really nice way of making things feel different, you know, um, in the studio. It's, it's stuff that can make or break a track sometimes, the way something is laid back. Um, having the ability to swap, to bring something that's straight on the beat and then lay it back a little bit can really breathe life into a, into a, into a song or a track. Um, if you listen to singers, singers do it. They kind of, the way they phrase, they also can lay back on their phrasing. That, that's what gives people a bit of a signature, signature approach sometimes. It's their, how they lay back on their vocal. Horn players do it keyboard players do it um you know if i i'll give you an example of playing just some straight line you know a minor pentatonic line i'll play it straight and then i'll play it laid back as well here we go it laid back straight again Laid back. There's a huge difference there for me, you know, and then you mix it up. sort of really helps you to breathe a little a little bit more life into your playing yeah so yeah just uh, you know i hope that's helped i hope that's answered your questions for a start um and i hope you have some fun with it take care see you soon